ladies and gentlemen, the winner of a $50,000 scholarship, your new Miss America, Miss Indiana Katie Stan. And with that, Katie Stan became the first contestant from Indiana to ever snag the title of Miss America in the pageant's 88-year history. The 22-year-old beat out 51 other contestants to win the top prize of a $50,000 scholarship, and she joins us now. Welcome, Miss America, Katie. Thank good to you see you. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. It just gets even more exciting Still? every time I watch that. Still? Still. Still. Uh, by the way, the 51 contestants, I guess Puerto Rico is one of them, right? No, actually, it's D.C. and Virgin Islands. Oh, yeah. oh I see. Yeah. All right. But we always tease. We, we were calling Mario Lopez the host for the evening, Miss Puerto Rico. Now, so. now the first <laughs> question, I know it's, you know it's too early to have all this sink in, but the question, because we're a business channel, of what yes. you do with it, how, what is the capital? Uh, so to speak, to put it in economic terms of being Miss America. Well, have you thought one, about that? I absolutely have. And one of the things that actually draws me even more to the job of being Miss America is the opportunity to be the official spokesperson for the Children's Miracle Network. Okay. Well, there's capital for charity. Yes, That's a good exactly. thing. Exactly. It's a wonderful organization. We can fundraise for children's hospitals across the U.S. 170 children's hospitals are helped every single now, year. Now, was this something you were into even before you were involved in the Miss well, America? Well, the Miss America organization has been working with the Children's Miracle Network for the last 20 years, but we've really formed a relationship in the last two years. Um, and so we're really taking that relationship to the next level. And just this last year, we raised $1.3 million That's for the good. Children's Miracle Network. By the way, it's, a, it's really tough. As hard as it is for everybody else, even those who still have jobs, uh, it's really tough for the charities. Not it's only because of the economic difficult. downturn, but Bernie Madoff. The fact that Bernie Madoff was, was ripping off charities. Everybody's suspicious yes. of charities, but this is they one are. that they have the Miss America stamp of Exactly, approval. exactly. And hopefully with the help of Miss America and the great track record of the Children's Miracle Network, we'll be able to do some All right, great but things But you again. personally, I just want to know, how do you use the capital of that crown, uh, if, if you put it in economic terms, to, to, for the rest of your life? Do you use it? Is it, is it well, part of the way that you hope to succeed? How? Absolutely. I mean, being Miss America during this entire year, it will follow me the rest of my life because, I mean, I've met former Miss Americas. I got to meet... Well, Gretchen at Fox News. Exactly. I just got to speak with her she's a close friend of mine but you know what she says uh -oh. she just told bill o'reilly that in some cases it could be a hindrance i mean she said that some people typecast you yeah. if you have a miss america crowd and she said there have been certain environments in which she actually withheld that information. She did. She did. There were several opportunities, several appearances that she went to where instead of wearing the crown, she would just set it on the podium or she would just hold it because she said in her opinion that it sent the exact same message, this is who I am and this is what I'm here for, but in a very different way than putting it on top of course, of like Gretchen, you want to get into news broadcasting, I do. right? So I I, do. That, in that sense, I can imagine it can open some doors. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there are so many opportunities through the crown, and that's what it's all about. It's all about being able to take hold of those opportunities, and like you said earlier, capitalizing on those. So, Did you ever think of business? Getting into business? Yeah, you know, I toss it around every once in a while, but my true passion lies with broadcasting. It's tough. So I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a very tough, tough especially environment. Especially now. You I see, I mean, thankfully, uh, the Fox brand is, is a very solid brand right That's now because right. of Fox News Channel yes. and we're carrying it through with Fox Business. Absolutely. Uh, but a lot of smaller stations around the country are entering into some tough times. So where do you start? I don't know. <laughs> let's get through this year and then let's see what kind of opportunities lie for me on the other side and we'll go from there. Do they give it to the team and you've got your team over here <laughs> I waiting, do. I sort have of my watching team over with me. That's right. I mean, do they give you a chance, uh, some, some downtime of your own so that you can plan there's for not the future? Too, there's not too much downtime, but you know what? The Miss America organization prepares us so well for what's to come after our reign and hopefully you know i i know that i will be 100 percent prepared for whatever comes my way well congratulations thank Katie you so Stanford. much i'm so glad indiana it. got it i was telling you the first place i interviewed for a job in journalism That's was in bloomington right. and they didn't hire you well it's a shame you know it's a shame. i mean we fox business out. did <laughs>
didn't have to, in, in favor, it was American Spectator. They didn't have there a job at the time. But, there uh, you go. Uh, may you have the luck I didn't have in the beginning. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Katie. Congratulations.